Hey guys, hey, this is Guardian on the West Fork, Zone 6 West West Virginia, and today is a great day where I'm going to reinstall my water barrel. I've had this seven, ten years, I would think. I bought it at Home Depot, and I'm just looking it up. They don't have the same one, but they have a lot of them, and it's a 55 gallon or 50 gallon one. And um, in an idle situation, we've had it up on the upper deck, but it makes walking a little cumbersome because then the I'm attaching this to our downspout from our roof, and that's the idle situation. And at one time it was sitting right there, but I wanted a clearer path. So uh, what I'm going to do today, if we've we've got some downspouting left, that I'm just going to reattach that and direct it to our rain barrel. And rain barrels are the best thing. Uh, I, Reg and I were talking this morning because we're getting a lot of rain right now. It'd be nice to try and tap it into another barrel. It's just space. I don't know if we could have enough space with that door open. Um, or we could perhaps put one on the other side. Anyway, but today what we're gonna do is just get this one re, um, back in its place. And uh, it's really not hard. Like I said, if you have an ideal spot, and ours was right here, um, you can just direct your spout down into the barrel. Uh, what I have done here, and there's a video when I did this last fall, this piece of plastic just directs the rain then uh, from going under the deck uh, down into the yard through the winter. It's a long yard long piece of plastic tubing. So that screw comes out and, uh, oh, I thought Raj was behind me showing you the, ah, uh, if I can get this out of the plastic. There we go. And so I'll just use the same screw and I'll roll my plastic up. And now I'll be very cautious here. It always comes off easier than goes on. And we have a piece of strapping to hold it a little steadier. Great. Okay. There's that, and uh, we've drilled a couple of holes to attach these little pieces, and we'll get that screwed right in. There we go. Easy enough. And then the last thing, I'll get this strap reattached. All right, here's its screw. This just holds it so we don't, you know, lose the attachment to the... There we go. And that should do it. That's how... It's even easier if you don't have to run a little piece down to here. Now we all we have to do, wait for it to rain. One thing about your rain barrels, they are collecting water from your roofs, so you don't want to drink from it. I know that seems silly to tell you that, but I'm sure somebody thinks they can drink out of the rain barrels. I wouldn't suggest it. And we're in a low, uh, toxic area, in my opinion. And if you're putting, I use all of this for my pots and for some, you know, planters that might have some vegetables, they always say like leafy vegetables, you want to rinse those leaves off if it's been exposed to any of this water in your barrel. So there you have it. Get your barrels out. It's again that first week of second week of spring, first week of spring, second week of spring. No, not spring, April, second week of April. And I'm excited because we're supposed to get rain tonight and then the next couple days. So there you have it. Get yourself a rain barrel. They're probably under a hundred dollars to a hundred dollars. Put one in your yard. You'll never regret it. So thanks for watching. Guardian on the West Park. Bye.